Hello everyone, Dependa Senpai here, and welcome to Death's Gambit. This game was released by, what well, was developed by White Rabbit and published by Adult Swim Games. It came out about a month ago, if I'm not mistaken, or two months ago, and I was completely unaware of it. And this game was on, it is currently on a promotion on Steam. And the way, since I really like Metroid Venus, and this is also appeals to the Dark Souls, the Souls franchise game, I thought to myself, I cannot let myself go by without playing this. So, I just got this game, I went and messed with the options a little bit, I got the settings the way I think it should be probably op optimum. And then I made the character just to test it. Really? Oh, that's why, because my mouse was on top of it. And then I just made the character just to test the controls and such, and I'll probably try using keyboard and mouse, and if it does not look good, I will probably switch to a controller. So let's get into it. Create Soul. Um, I read a little bit about each one of them, but I'm gonna read again just so you guys know what's going on. So we have um, four, seven classes. Uh, the first one being a soldier, trained by the military of Vados. Vados. Good all-round all fighter. Blocking attacks gives you soul energy to use for abilities. That is an assassin. Can I use my... There you go. Um... Assassin, quick and nimble fighter that favors close ranged combat. Dodging attacks gives you soul energy to use for abilities. There is a Blood Knight, reckless warriors that rewards aggressive combat styles. You regain health that was recently lost if you quickly retaliate. There is Wizard, you fight with complex ranged magic. Using a healing phoenix, phoenix will give you soul energy to use for abilities. Noble. You work your way up the chain of lords. An agent of royalty will visit you to sell unique items. Using items gives you so energy to use for abilities. There is a sentinel, a master of arms. You can equip any weapon and shield as long as you have half of the stats required. And Paris gives you so energy. And then acolyte of death. You worship death, letting you restore broken death idols. This can be used to rest and save. Killing enemies gives you soul energy. Wait, 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 wait a second. Uh, letting you restore broken death idols. This can be used to rest and, to rest and save. So I can do this with the others? What? Uh, no one's watching like uh, two or three episodes of somebody else playing it. And this person was playing as Acolyte of Death. And I wanted to try other classes as well, and that's why I was felt so inclined to buy this game. And I'm so looking forward, but I'm not gonna go Acolyte of Death. Uh, the ones I liked so far was the Wizard, Blood Knight, and Assassin. Those three. Uh, when I was playing Dark Souls for myself, Dark Souls 3, I was trying a mage. And I kinda liked the aspect of a mage, so... I think I'm gonna give it a shot here as well. Let's go as a wizard. And for items, this is our starting gift, item. We can go with the Vados Helm. Helm worn by the military soldiers of Vados. Increases your vitality by five. That's a lot, actually. Spellbinder's Aura. Aura enchanted with elemental wisps. Using abilities increase intellect by two for 24 seconds. Stacks up to 10 intellect, so I can stack it up five times using abilities. So that's gonna give me even more intelligence. That seems like the best option. Let's check the others. Shield of Warding. Reduces time of negative status effects by 25%. Okay. Increases endurance and regeneration by 100% for 14 seconds. In the hands of the right person can be used to upgrade weapons and armor. We are gonna get this through the game, right? Crystal Bomb. Just an attack, eight times. It's an item. I don't like items that you use and it's gone. Locket. It holds a small picture of someone dear to you. This feels like it's a key item and that's gonna unlock something in the story. Uh, 
this is good. This is questionable. Like, what does it do? This has a. This seems to be. This seems to have a lot of replayability. So let's start with the Spellbinders Aura, since this seems to be the one that fits mostly the Wizard build. So hold on, hold on a second. Can I? Yes. Vitality, health points, and healing of plumes. Strength, damage of strength, weapons, and ability, and better weapons and shields. Finesse determines damage of finesse weapons and abilities, lets you equip better finesse weapons. Endurance and stamina. Intelligence determine, uh, determine, determine, determine. What? I can't English. Uh, spell damage lets you equip stronger spell, increases magic resistance. And then there is the haste. Determines ability and bow cast speed. Oh, there is bow. Decreases ability cooldown time. Increases stamina regeneration rate. Hmm. Let's go back to the wizard. Okay. Create soul. Let's get into it. Playing dev, were you? Oh, voice acting. Shame it's always the cowards that survive. Considering the fate of your men, I thought I'd do them a service. Oh. Oh yeah, I, uh, the, the protagonist is not narrated. My men, they are all... Go back to Vados. You have an obligation to their families now. Hmm. Are you helping me? So I can end up and down. Oh, that uses stamina. This jump. Can I? Can't go back here. Oh, oh, oh. Careful. <laughs> uh, I don't think we want to attack him. Can I? Yes, I can talk to him. My men, they are all. Go back to. All right, all right. I'm going back. Oh. Come back so soon. This thing. Like I'm burning from the inside out. Better get used to it. This contract will resurrect you in service to me. Rest assured, your mind and actions will be your own. Though why you mortals insist in glorifying a self-aggrandizing hoax is beyond me. In return, you must do something for me. What could I possibly do for you? Give it time. For now, just sign here. In blood, of course. Death's contract. I do like the the Death's uh, voice actor. Like, not the actor. I mean, I don't even know the actor, but the voice acting is really good. That's what I should say. Hmm, it's zooming out. I like how you can look ahead with the mouse. This looks beautiful. This is gorgeous. Oh, no going back. Gaian's Cradle. Hi. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh! <laughs> ah, obviously. Obviously. Can I attack you? Oh, you can defend by pressing down. Can break those. Um, left click to attack with your primary weapon. Press I to open your inventory. Oh, I can press escape much easier. <laughs> oh yeah, I have the Spellbinders Aura. Can I equip this? Oh, I think it goes here. Yes. Can right click as well. Death's contract. Uh, oh, can I drop the contract? <laughs> my contract with Death. It keeps me alive until I fulfill my mission. The contract can be cancelled at any time. Though it will leave me mortal. 
I have to be certain that's what I want. The page radiates with a, an anominal sensation. It's seemingly capable of crossing realms. So I think I can drop it and then I become mortal. And by mortal does that mean like if I die, it's game over? That's scary. Okay, oh wait, what? These elemental wisps were trained to feed off expanded soul energy and siphon it back to the user. A wizard's familiar is most notoriously associated with the blue. Despite how fickle they are, the sheer depth of magical reservoir kept them loyal. This is my healing item, Descent Plume. Uh, Conscript Cape, your mother would have been proud to see you wear its color, but has it been all, has it all been worth it? The Casting Tom, Intelligent Scaling, I need 8, I have 8. They are traditionally hand-me-down from Master to Ward. I don't have anything else. That's just filter. Those are talents. Wizards might. Using a healing phoenix will give you tensile energy to use for abilities. Uh, I don't have talent points. We will see those once we get there. Hold on. Journal of Immortals. Nothing here. And options. Oh. <laughs> uh, crow plume. What? What is that? Returns you to the last death idol rested at. The obsolete jet plume of a crow. They have long been the harbingers of death. They, their eyes had to be the ga a gateway for him to observe our world. So is that like a... A scroll of return or something? I keep pressing space to jump and it's actually the up button. W, should I say. Use your horse to leap over big gaps. Uh, lug of short bow. Is that okay? Hold on. I get you and plus you here. Hang on a second. Oh, you can actually see the 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 wisp, whatever it's called, like going all around me. That's so cool. That's a really nice touch. Press right click to use secondary weapon. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even aim for it. Was well, like perfect. Anyways, I can. <gasps> Hold on a second. That was an accident. Pick up Leaf of Gaia. What does it do? When consumed, restore all health and removes minor st status ailments. There are rumors of groves untouched by seasons, where spring is eternal and the leaves are lush. They are the locus of the lines. The nervous system, the nervous system of Gaia. And radiant sight of magic. This leaf is proof of such a place. Okay, can I grab my... Oh, it's E. So now I can come this way and... Whoop. Did I... I... Oh! I activated that so I can come back. Hold on. Do I even need bows? I have arrows. I think this is like the stuff that you are supposed to save, but since I'm not Death Acolyte, I can't. Hold on. What is this? Oh, I can rest here though. Gaian's Cradle. Level up. I need shards. So what am I gonna do? Am I gonna go like full intelligence or intelligence endurance? This will give me more... I can't even check. Healing, effectiveness for plus four percent, stamina delay, time two percent. Anyway. Oh there is another one. What's this? Activate. I mean I know what is this, like I saw like about thirty minutes of gameplay. Ish, I don't even know. This is a door. Okay, I unlock this so I can come up here. Wish I could attack, you can see me clicking though.
Oh, even though I'm aiming this way, except for the bowl. The spell only attacks like where I'm facing. If I'm facing that way, it doesn't matter if I'm using my mouse. Hold ass to block. Press left shift while moving to dodge row. Okay, I need to do that. I need to use that way more often. I can't spam it. It uses stamina. I need at least one. I heard you. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be easy as a mage. If I can just, like, get away from him. There you go. 22 shards. Do you have a death wish? Don't think I can die, actually. Eluding death gives you a god complex, I see. If you intend to squander your life, go right on ahead. I'm sure your men are eager to see you. But should you think twice, take one of these. They're restorative plumes. Use it to ensure your return to Vados. Consider it the last kindness I offer you. Who are you? Rail. 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 Not sure, but burning me alive is a kindness. Not sure, burning me alive is a kindness. And what lies ahead, I assure you it is. Okay, let's grab that. Wait, what? Oh, I already got it. Q. Q for heal. Q to heal. Uh, okay, I read that. That's the dodge roll. Right, so we can come up here. I should stop attacking him, like seriously. Um, press Q to use equipped item. Oh, that's not healed, that's equipped item. I really hope they don't make it like mouse wheel because my mouse wheel is really bad. Rest. What's reclaim? Sacrifice to reclaim. Oh, you can reclaim lost flumes. When you die, unlike the Souls games, on Souls games, when you die, you lose all your souls, like in this game, shards. In this one, you actually lose like one plume per death. But then you can actually use Reclaim to reclaim them back. Uh, this is something I found like very nice as well. You can actually like turn in plumes to get like a damage boost, but you can always retrie retrieve them back. I will actually carry only one and see how good I am. And we can actually level up. Uh, that would give me 4% damage and 4% magic damage to health. Haste. 1% damage. Can't use my uh, the keyboard. Wanted to see if there was. What is fail? Fee, fail, whatever. Uh, it could be kind of like hollowing. Stamina regen. Oh, it regens faster. Cooldown reduction didn't change. It gives pretty much a bit of everything. Endurance. Also a bit of everything and plus some stamina. That's quite good. Finesse. Yeah, finesse damage. And vitality gives like 10 HP. I'm gonna stick with intelligence. The more I attack, the least I have to attack. The less I have to attack. Unless I really strictly need another stat. I really like going like glass cannon builds and such. Not sure how I'm gonna be after a second. Resting at death idols regenerate to use feathers. Okay. I see you there. Call plume. Uh, while blocking, press secondary weapon button to kick shield enemies. Oh. Oh shit. There we go. Uh, what's up here? I see you right there. Oh, oh, what? Did I destroy his arrow? That's so cool. I like that. <laughs> I saw you there. Don't take me for fool. Let's rest again. 
37, can I level up? Yes, I can. Another one intelligence. Enjoying this so far. Leave. I'm doing like 28 damage. You know what I'm tempted to do? Gotta go full damage, man. <laughs> you gotta go full damage. 25? 33. Okay. Too far. <laughs> no! Can I break his shield? Yes, I can. Can break his guard. Much easier. Uh, there's something up there. Oh. Oh! oh. No. To there. Maybe from there. Oh, wrong way. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can shift as well. Attack when in air or after dodge roll to execute different attacks. Oh, wait. That didn't look that different. Oh, item. I want it. Light Greaves, what does it do? Uh, plus two strength, plus two fantasy. Sure. I don't have anything equipped. Uh, military Greaves of Light Metal, offering decent protection. The component defeat against Cyrodon has given... Cyrodon? Has given their forges a near infinite supply of scrap metal to refine and rebuild. Yet, their land remain in ruin. And their sword, the soldier, ill-equipped with deteriorating armor and weapon. Oh, I can come up here. Oh, let's try Zealot's cape. Plus four vitality. That gives me nothing. Thank you. Wooden torch. Oh, oh. Uh, my shield. Requires two strength and sea toughness. Requires. Your movement speed will block is faster. A simple lightweight shield, there is really not much else to do it. Let me check this. Oh, you can. Like, if you block and walk, you can walk very fast. And now, compare to this one. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely faster, but I'll keep this one. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. You see that? Hi. <laughs> that arm! Dragonberry. Removes poison set to grow from the ashen wake of fire. The white blossoms are symbolic of purifi purified souls. For this reason, funerals and vados vet often overflow with the pale petals of the draconin. Right? Oh, <laughs> what am I doing? There is a lot of momentum when you are in mid-air. Fragile Courage. That's a uh, aura. Increase vitality by 15. Destroyed if killed. The strength we find in dire times can propel us beyond our limitations, but such illusions of grandeur are fragile. Easily shattered. That's cool. I'm not gonna use it, but like... 15 vitality. But one time, once if you die. Come. Come. Whew. Barely. Can I level up? Yes, I can. Intelligence, here we go. 51%. Still no feather. Is it boss? No. Let me drink some water. Ah! 
I wonder if it can hit. Yeah, it can hit multiple times. Another one of you. What? 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 Oh my god! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't know how this works. I guess I... Oh, we get it now. I need to dodge! There we go. Six intelligence. Oh, I can't go back. I want to save. I don't want to die. Oh, we can activate this, though. That's the second one. I saw it a little bit past, like, the this door. Don't remember much, how much though. Oh, I can actually rest now. Abilities. Uh, essence of fire, two seconds cool down. Requires a tome and eight intelligence. Create a, fl a floating fire orb. Attacking with a tome weapon causes all floating elemental orbs to combine to create a unique attack. Oh, can I actually, oops. Can I actually use it more than once to make like a huge orb? I know you're there. Was there another one down here? No. There were. Oh god. Uh, ah. Damn it, I. Okay, 59. This is like the soul energy I need to use the orbs. So like, let's say one orb. Yeah, two orbs. I can't use more now, but... Oh, so it does different attack depending on how many orbs I have. Can I break it? No stamina. Yeah, getting some stamina is also going to be helpful. Let's level up. Although I still want to go more intelligence. Just need one more shard and I can level up again. Oh, I missed that one right here. Okay, let's level up. I'm sort of gonna regret going glass cannon. I'm gonna get one hit by a boss. I mean, I'm getting two HP, right? Let's kill you, guy. What am I doing? Stop farming. There we go. Now we can proceed. Calm down. I can't... Oh, we have a shoot smash. Like, I don't know how to attack down, like... I can't attack down like this, but, like... If they're really close, it's not that good. Padded Greaves. Four Vitality. Two Strength Finacy. Yeah, a Vitality for sure. A pair of standard Yishir infantry boots from battles. A new army could be equipped with all the armor that lies scattered and abandoned. Every four years, a generation ends in, the, in these foreign lands. Okay, let's go Vitality. Definitely better for me. HP. Yeah, I remember the Phoenix. Oh god, 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 god. Oh. What are those two items? I got a Sunstone. Radiant stone that illuminates dark areas. Can be thrown. These stones absorb natural sunlight. Exuding a pleasant warmth and light when night falls. The street of Vader's and many more cities use them on a daily basis. Alright, uh, an abyssal eye. Uh, an occult spell that summons a third eye. Weak tales exist of Okos who gouge 
of their eyes, throwing them to the fire in hopes their, that their sacrifice will grant them unified vision with their god. But what if their god is blind? You're gonna get blindness unified with your god. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, I actually... Aldwing Halberd. Reinforced Helm. Okay, um... Three Finacy, three Intelligence, 42. That's a Halberd. Can't equip. Plus one Vitality. I have nothing else, so sure, please. I can actually level up as well. Oh, oh, oh! I keep jumping, I need... Oh my god! Not in the fire! Oh, you like that. <laughs> oh, come on! I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go and actually fight him. Mano a mano. Let's do this. I said fight him. Why am I facing... Oh, no, wait! Alright. Oh, that... Come on. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! I fell all the way. I miss a knight and... Um, level up for sure. More intelligence. Am I, am I still getting four? Yes, I'm still getting four. 63% magic damage. I don't even need a bow. Hang on a second. Can I... Yeah, I don't have... It. Oh, why, why did I do that? Uh, another question. If I have this... Can I equip it? No, I actually need the base stats. Despite having four. So, that's also a no. What is this? Feather upgrade. Oh, I got one more feather. Guess what? We're getting more damage, actually. Augment feather. Four. Leave. Does the game always save whenever I rest? The action this world will not be forgotten. I think that's like a save. Alright guys, that's actually gonna do it for this episode, the first one. Thank you so much for watching. I will keep playing this, I'm so pumped. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually really excited, guys. I'm really excited for this game. So, I'll be back once again once I'm done with this. So, thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye!